Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. Um, I've tried to film this video about four times now and every single time I just end up bawling my eyes out. So I'm going to try and just get through this and show as little emotion as possible because it's still very raw. Um, so today I was going to be uploading a four and five week pregnancy update for you, but my body had other plans over the weekend and unfortunately I suffered a miscarriage, which I'm trying really, really hard right now to be positive and look at the bright side of things I have. A beautiful 19 month old son who is just the sweetest little thing that I've ever laid my eyes on and ever had the pleasure of knowing and I have the most supportive and loving husband in the world and nothing can compare to those two but still sad and I'm gonna try not to cry I filmed this four times already and ended up bawling my eyes out every time so I'm going to try and be strong. Um, I'm going to take you back to the start. So Friday, not last week, the week before, I lost my job. Um, it was just a casual job and I guess I could see the writing on the wall, but I didn't think it was going to happen. Um, I thought maybe my hours would have been cut, but unfortunately I got fired. And, you know, it wasn't based on me at all. It was based on where I was working, the company finances and things like that. Honestly, I was the last one in, first one out. That's just how things go. And I understand running a business, you know, you need to make decisions that sometimes aren't nice. So I'm, that, that's fine. Like it is what it is. I'll get another job. It's not the end of the world. Um, however, it did put a little bit of a strain on the finances, as you can imagine. Um, but not enough that I thought it would cause a miscarriage. So I'm not really sure what caused it, I've got no idea. Um, I filmed my five and four and five week pregnancy update on Thursday and edited it ready for uploading this week. But on Friday, I started bleeding. Um, I looked at hundreds of different websites and YouTube videos about people who had been bleeding and their babies were fine and they went on to have healthy full-term pregnancies. Um, obviously I read some that stated the other side of the spectrum as well where people did have miscarriages and the kind of stage that I was at on Friday I kind of thought that I would have been one of the safe pregnancies. I didn't feel like I was bleeding enough to class it as a miscarriage I wasn't having any pain whatsoever and I just laid down on the couch all day and put some movies on for Sam and just relaxed until Matt got home and then Matt took over looking after Sam for me which you know again I'm so thankful for my husband he is one of a kind he's a really special man um we decided that considering I had Sam with me on Friday um I would just wait and play it out and see how things went and overnight and when I woke up on Saturday morning. Um, when I did wake up on Saturday morning there was more blood than the day before and I decided to go to the doctors and just get checked out just to rule out miscarriage just so that I knew I was fine. I was optimistic, um, I was trying really really hard to stay positive and think of positive outcomes as you'll see in um, a clip in a minute, but it wasn't meant to be. Once I got to the hospital, I had a lot more bleeding just before I went in for my ultrasound and um, pretty much the ultrasound confirmed that I had had a miscarriage. They could not find a sac or anything, which I'm assuming they would have been able to find. Um, the technician that did the ultrasound was just so lovely and I could see she just, she was really nice. Um, the nurse that I had 
was actually seven weeks pregnant herself. Um, she had suffered five miscarriages in a row and then had some bleeding last week as well and ended up in women's and children's. Um, however, her baby was fine. So going into this, I kind of, I didn't believe that it was happening. You know, I was optimistic. I thought, you know what? A lot of women bleed during early pregnancy. It's just nothing. Um, everything sort of changed though once my blood work came back and the ultrasound results sort of matched up and basically I had lost the baby. Um, there was nothing that can be done. I wish to God Matt had been there with me. I was there by myself in the hospital. Um, Matt was at home with Samuel. You know, obviously the hospital is no place for an 18 month old. So um, he stayed home with Sam and I was there by myself. I did have some friends offer to come in and hold my hand, but for me personally, I'm a very private person in that sort of regard. And the only other person that I would have wanted there is Matt other than myself um I guess it didn't really hit home even after the ultrasound after everything it didn't hit home until they went in and cleaned everything out um I just remember sitting there on the bed I was just bawling my eyes out I couldn't stop it it was just I had hope right up until that point <laughs> that everything was gonna be okay I was just imagining things and yeah wasn't the case okay guys it's Saturday morning now I'm just on my way down to the GP super clinic thing I'm not going to see my regular doctor because she doesn't work on Saturdays and also it's the other side of town so I'm just gonna go down to this clinic and hopefully get to see a doctor and hope they can tell me what's going on if I am having a miscarriage I think I just I need to know. I have not yet had enough blood to have any spotting on my underwear, but there's been a lot of blood when I wipe, so I'm just really nervous and really scared, and I just want to know what's going on. I hope they let me have a ultrasound today just so I can see what's happening, see if there's a baby in there, see if I'm just imagining everything, but we have to go to a wedding this afternoon and I just said to Matt, like, if it is happening, I don't feel like I'm in the right headspace to be going to a wedding, like, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I'm sad. I just want to bore my eyes out, but I'm driving, so I need to stay in control. And also, I don't want to scare Samuel at all. I just, Matt's cooking him breakfast right now and they're going to hang out. I just don't feel well. I feel a bit nauseous and just sad. I feel sad. I I'll let you know guys know what, I'll let you guys know what the doctors say. Sorry if I'm talking really quiet. I just... I don't even have the energy right now to project my voice. I just feel so depressed and sad and emotional and scared. There are so many things running through my head. Like, this baby was wanted so, so much. Okay, so I just went to the doctors and they just said that there is nothing that they can do for me there. They've sent me to the emergency room at the hospital, so I'm just about to go and walk in and see if we still have a baby. Okay, so just got a drip in, having some fluids, okay, waiting until I can go and have an ultrasound, but I will keep you updated. Hopefully it won't be too much longer before I have an ultrasound and I can get out of here and hopefully just so my baby has a beating heart, but we'll wait and see.
Okay, so it's 10 past 3 in the afternoon. I just got out of the emergency room and we have no baby. There was no sac found on the ultrasound and my HCG levels were low and there was a lot of clotting and stuff and I lost a lot more blood while I was there so they did a bit of a clean out, got rid of any more clots that they could see and I've cried so much already. I just, I wanted this so bad. And now I've got such, I feel so disappointed and hurt and sad. You know, why me? I know everyone feels the same way when that happens, but honestly, why? Why us? Why my family? I don't know that it doesn't mean that we can't get pregnant again, but it's still hard. Anyway, I'm gonna go home and see my boys and give them a big hug and I will check in with you guys later. Once I got home from the hospital, Matt and I discussed where to go next in terms of our journey and becoming parents again. And we both decided that we really want to try straight away. We're not going to wait. We're not even going to wait until my first period. We are just going to try again straight away to fall pregnant and hopefully the next time it sticks. So keep your eyes out for some more pregnancy updates. Um, in terms of moving forward with getting pregnant with our next baby, um, I went out yesterday and purchased the Ovia Plan 10 day um, pregnancy planning kit. It also comes with a pregnancy test. I plan on testing every day as soon as I stop bleeding to make sure that I don't miss um, my ovulation and hopefully we can get pregnant again as soon as possible. I'm still taking my Blackmore's pregnancy and breastfeeding gold supplements. I didn't stop that. I don't plan on stopping it. Um, hopefully we can get pregnant again soon and hopefully the next time I do it sticks and we don't have to face this tragedy again. If you've suffered a miscarriage um, early on in pregnancy or even late on in pregnancy, let me know in the comments below on things that you did in terms of coping, how long it took you to get pregnant again after miscarriage and yeah, just let me know in the comments below how everything went for you. Um, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already and we will see you in our next video. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.